Hello and welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I am the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder, fondly known as SQB, is one of the most powerful, customizable, and easy to use quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. You can use Smart Quiz Builder to create all types of quizzes, personality quizzes, assessments, yes, no answers, multiple choice, true, false answers, and scoring quizzes, and also all kinds of surveys. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create a personality quiz using SQB. Now, personality quizzes are the ones that you see frequently being shared on Facebook and on BuzzFeed. These are very popular quizzes. So first, I'll give you a quick demo of a personality quiz created using SQB. Then I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can set it up. Now I'm going to give you a quick demo of a personality quiz created using SQB. Now I recently came across a really cool infographic. So I decided to uh, make a quiz out of it. So you can see here, there's a branching logic here. When users answer a question, instead of the same next question, the answer dictates the next question that they see. So I wanted to create a similar quiz using SQB, a quiz with branching logic, where the answer dictates the next question. And these are the different types of possible outcomes based on the answer. So I have created this quiz using SQB. So let me show you how it looks. All right, you can see here this quiz I created using Smart Quiz Builder, and this is the start screen. You don't have to use a start screen if you just want to use a button and connect this button directly to the questions, you can do that too. But I'm using a start screen with the quiz title at the top, a GIF here. Again, you don't have to use a GIF, you can use plain image, you can use videos. All right, so I'm gonna click on the take this quiz button. This is the first question. You can see here there is a progress bar at the top. This is configurable in the back end. The quiz title shows up here. So these are the possible answers. This is a personality quiz, so there are no correct answers. So that's why there is no next button here. When users select any one of the answer options, they will be sent to the next question. The next question they see is dependent on the answer because this is a branching quiz. I'll show you my setup in the back end in a little bit, but let me complete this quiz. So I'm gonna select this option. And I'm going to just go ahead and answer the rest of the questions. That's it. So the quiz is complete, but before the result is displayed, users need to enter their name and email. So I'm going to enter my name and email. All right, so this is the final result screen and this is all customizable in the back end. In fact, if you don't want to send them to a result screen, but redirect them to a completely different page based on their answer, you can redirect them wherever you want them to go when they opt in. It says your result type is this. It figures out the result type based on the answers. I'll show you my setting in a bit, but uh, this is the content I have configured in the back end. And this is the call to action. This one is configured to send users back to my homepage, but again, you can send them back wherever you want. All of this text, colors, everything is fully customizable. Even though it's a complex quiz with branching logic, with multiple outcomes, it's really easy to create a quiz like this using SQB. So now let me take you to the back end to show you my setup. This is the back end of SQB, and you can see here in the basic settings tab, I have given my quiz a name, quiz description. I have selected the type of quiz as personality. Under display settings, there are some more options that you can customize. So most of these settings, you can just use the default, and if you want to make any adjustments, you can always make a change here. So progress bar will show up at the top of each quiz by default. If you want to display all of the questions on the same page, you can. By default, it will display one question per page. If you want to display an opt-in form, that's the lead generation form. After the participants answer all the questions before the result is displayed, leave it on and that's the default behavior anyway. And you can connect your opt-in form to your email platform. SQB will add it to WordPress by default, but if you want to add it to your email platform such as ActiveCampaign, Aweber, any of these, then, and we'll be adding more integrations, but if you want to add it to your platform, then just select the platform to which you want to add the users and select the action if you want to add users, then select the type if you want to add to list, that's the default. Then select your list name and then click on add to add users to your active campaign list when they opt in. You can do the same with these other platforms and SQB also integrates with Zapier. So if you want to connect it to your Zap, you can do that here and SQB integrates with Digital Access Pass. If you want to add users that opt in to your free product and app, you can do that as well. 
just check this box and select the product to which you want to add the users and also you can assign tags when users are added but the tag assignment is configurable at outcome level so you can click on set outcome tags and if they get a specific outcome you can give them a different tag which is why the tag setting is at outcome level and it's not under the display settings now this is the start screen so as you can see there is a start screen outcome now even though the outcome in a personality quiz shows up at the end you need to create them before you create the questions and that's because each answer needs to be correlated to a specific outcome that will allow SQB to figure out based on the answers what the outcome type should be that's why you need to create all possible outcomes first and then create the questions all right so this is the start screen this is how I have set this up and as I mentioned before you can use a video here there's a video element here so you can use a video or you can use regular image so this is the title of the quiz here is the description of the quiz all of this is click and edit you can change it to anything you want there is a take this quiz button again there is a button customizer that will allow you to customize the colors and if you just want to display or take this quiz button and not this entire screen you can click on this to change the template all right moving on to the outcome so here you can see I have created five different outcomes and each outcome screen is fully customizable you can see here the outcome title and uh, this merge tag will be replaced in the front end with the outcome title based on the answers and all of this information that you see here is fully customizable you can click and edit and change it and this button text as well this is a call to action on the final outcome page connect this to whatever you want so you can click on add new outcome to add as many new outcomes as you want here you can see i have created five possible outcomes all right so let's take a look at the questions and answers so here I have 11 questions. Now, not everyone is going to see all of these questions because this is a branching quiz. I have set up the branching logic in the quiz funnels page. I'll show you how that works. But first you need to create all the questions and then you can set up your branching logic. So let me show you how the question needs to be set up in SQB. So this is the question screen. You can add your question here. This is the question title. This is an image. You can change this to whatever you want. You don't even have to use an image. You can just hide the image. You can add a description if you want or just hide it and these are the possible answers and you can add as many answers as you want you can use images for your answers right here you can check the box so you can use different types of layouts i'm just going to use this option and here under connect to outcome i have connected it to different outcomes because this is a personality quiz so you need to tell sqb what each answer means so you need to correlate each answer to one or more outcomes like i have done here so this will allow sqb to filter and figure out the final outcome type based on the answers. So connect each answer to the right outcome type simply by checking one or more boxes here. So this is how you can create your questions in SQB, pretty straightforward. So I have done that. I have, as you can see, I have 11 questions. So I will show you the branching logic and how I have created it in a bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lead generation screen. So after users answer all the questions, they will be sent to the lead generation screen. This is again fully customizable. Everything that you see here, including the text, all this is fully customizable in the back end. Now going back to the outcome screen, if you do not want to send users to the outcome screen but redirect them to a specific page, you can do that too. If users get this outcome, you want to send them to a specific page, you can select this option and specify the URL of the page to which you want to redirect them on your site. So you don't have to send them to an outcome screen. So that's one of the things you can do at outcome level in the outcome tab and also the outcome tags. You can assign different tags to your users based on the outcome. So what this will allow you to do is add these users to your email platform with the right tag and then you can use the tags to segment and then you can send different personalized follow-up emails to your participants based on the answers. And that's it, it's really straightforward. Create your start screen, set up your outcome, set up the question and answers, set up the lead generation, and you don't have to customize it much. It looks great by default. And when you're done, in the final tab, SQB will give you a short code. All you have to do is copy this and paste it wherever you want the quiz to show up on your WordPress page. So you can insert it anywhere on your WordPress page and you will have a quiz. So now let me show you how to set up the branching logic. You can click on this to set up your branching logic or you can go directly to the quiz funnels page to add it. All right, so this is the quiz funnels page. Here's where you can do your branching logic. I have selected my quiz from this drop down. I have activated branching logic here. So here we have different nodes for each one of the questions and these are the answer choices. So I'm going to use this icon here to zoom into each question and see the details right here. You can see here 
This is the branching logic. So if they answer notepad, for example, I connect them to this next question. This is the question they will see. And if they select napkin, for example, this is the question that they are going to see. So the answer dictates the next question. So you can see if they answer Twitter, I've connected it to this note. So for example, say that to change the world for the better is one of the option, but when they select this option, that's it, it should end the quiz and I want to show them the outcome. Then you don't have to connect this node to any other question. So if an answer is not connected to any question, then they are going to see the lead generation form if they pick that answer choice and then they will be sent to the right outcome screen. So say that you want to disconnect this node, this connection and connect this answer to a different question, then just right click it will show you an X icon here, click on it, it will disconnect it. If you want people that answer notepad to see this question next, you can just drag it from here and drop it right here. That's it. So now when people answer notepad, they are going to see this next question. If they answer Evernote, for example, they will see this as the next question. So you can use SQB to build really smart marketing quizzes where the question depends on their previous answer. Also, branching logic is optional. You don't have to activate branching if you just want to present questions in a certain order like this. When they answer question one, they will be sent to question number two. You can click on rearrange questions to rearrange the order of the questions, but everyone will be presented the same questions when they answer the previous one. So if you don't want to activate branching, that's fine too. But if you want to activate branching, it's really easy to do this using the branching logic feature in SQB. That's it, it doesn't matter how complex your quiz is, you can easily build it using Smart Quiz Builder. Just a few easy steps. You can even add skip logic, branching logic to build a really smart quiz. If you have any questions, let me know. I have a Facebook group, you're welcome to join the group or you can open a support ticket if you have any support issues. My name is Pina Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.